Welcome to another episode of Real Beauty, Real Food, and Real Life. I'm your host today, SJ, and yes, my voice is sounding pretty hoarse, but I gotta get past that and keep it moving. Today, we're gonna do Meal Prep 101, Episode 2, and we're gonna start that off with some Trader Joe's. This is their ground chicken. Add that to a pan. And then I got some Trader Joe's ground beef. That's one pound of each. I usually meal prep so that my I can eat about two or three of these meals a day. Plus, I'm going to be doing my oatmeal prep as well. Can I get through this thing without talking? My gosh, I didn't know my voice was this gonna be this bad. Sorry, y'all. Mm. All right, gotta get it open first. Now this is how I do it. You don't have to do it the way I do it. But maybe you can get a better job getting this off of here than I can because I'm so struggling. Get all the meat dumped in there, and now I'm going to add water and let right, it soak. so we're back. My voice sounds a little bit better. I gargled with that warm water and salt, so don't let nobody ever tell you it don't work. You see how my difference is? See how that gook? So, I'm going to rinse that off. Don't be afraid to do this to your hamburger or any of your meat like that, for matter of fact. Cause you'll be amazed of all the stuff you see come up off of it. All right, so just to get going, I've already did a few little prep work. I cut up a jalapeno pepper, putting that in. I've already got some pre-cut onions, finishing off that. I love these little green containers. They do wonders. They they keep your seasoning seasoned. I mean, they keep them ready, available for you for a whole week. Mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish it all. That way I can go ahead and get those dishes out the way. <laughs> One egg. An egg will help hold it together. Give me a second here. There we go. Is that better so I don't have to squinch? <laughs> Please don't get the shell in there if you can help it. Now you wanna go with your seasonings. Well, you know me, I go to the Tika house. Sometimes I call it tiki and get seasonings. They give you a scoop of what you want and they put it in a bag. This is my sausage seasoning. And I usually get a lot of it because I like this. It's, like I said before, it's great for um, seasoning regular meat to give it that pork flavor that you like in sausage and, if, and you don't want the pork and I transport it over to another drawer and booyah sausage seasoning is ready I'll put some of that in there I use a lot of that that's why I do have a container that I uh, put it in and then what else did I get I got some Jamaican seasoning. Uh-oh. And jambalaya seasoning. Hey. I got all kind of seasonings at this time. I got sweet and smoky. And apple. I'm not going to use none of the rest of those. I don't want to over-season my meat. Because I am starting meal prep for uh, weight loss. And you know how they always say, well, don't add a lot of salt or anything like that. So, no, I'm not adding a lot of salt. But I did add some of that seasoning. I'm adding some cayenne pepper. You know me, I normally get that molly going. Put that in here. But today, I'm going to use Mrs. Dash. So, yeah, I did a little cheating by adding that sausage seasoning. But 
you got to make sure you want to eat this stuff too. So if I eat right, then I feel that I should still be able to pull the pounds off. So we'll see. Here we go. Now you want to just mix all of that together. Ooh. Yes, it's going to be mushy. You had to clean it. Even when you don't clean it, it's still mushy. <laughs> Now, it is really mushy, mushy, especially the chicken. The hamburger pretty much holds its own. So, if it's too mushy for you to work with, or you feel you need a little bit more tightening into it, add some breadcrumbs. And that's what I'm going to do. Give me just a second. I'm adding my breadcrumbs. And finishing with the mixing. Ooh. Now, I use my Chris Stone pan. The reason I use this pan so much is because one is not thick. But do you see those ridges in there? So you know how you get a lot of fat that comes in when you're baking stuff. It still just settles in the pan. Well, because there's ridges in there, it doesn't seem like it gets into the meat as much as if I just put it on a plain sheet. Now, you can put it on a plain sheet, and I got this from a friend of mine, and put two pieces of aluminum foil on it, and on the piece that's closest to the meat, poke holes in it, and that will drop all the grease to the bottom one and try to keep it away from your food. All right, so we use two pounds of uh, one pound of turkey, I mean, I'm sorry, one pound of chicken and one pound of ground beef. So normally I get a good four burgers out here, good size burgers. You can get five if you push it. So I should have enough room on here for eight. If not, I need to make it that way because I don't want to use another pan. <laughs> and I'm getting pretty dang on close to not getting eight. I'm more like getting nine, but I'm going to try to push it. I should have started those other ones at the back, and I didn't. Yes, this is a lot of handsy stuff. So, be prepared when you wash your meat. That's just how it is. It's sticky. It's slimy. But guess whose hands is cooking it instead of somebody else's? So, the same stuff I'm sitting here doing right now, when you go get a fresh burger from a restaurant, a fresh burger, not the frozen patties, they doing the same thing. The only difference is, you know what you done did with your hands. And you're okay with your hands. I'm not okay with somebody else's hands. So that's why I'm meal prepping. That's another reason I like to meal prep. It's just safer and it's faster. You know how we stop at fast food because it's quick and easy? Well, why not meal prep? Make it quick and easy. If it's already ready, it's perfect. All right, so I got a few little odd ones in there. Give me just a second. Let me get a good rinse on my hands. And you know me, I don't want to touch nothing. All right. So we got our little burgers made up. All right, you know me. I put it on 350 every time. Except I'm going to cook these for about 25 minutes. Actually 30 because I didn't preheat my oven. Stick them on in. Now, my other meal prep for this is uh, asparagus with spinach, which you've already seen the video if you haven't. I'll put it in the link below. And uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll uh, plate it up. And then we'll be right back. All right, so you all, I got to moving a little too fast today. I would have been able to take this out of the oven if it had already started cooking, but thank God it hadn't. Yeah, I know I'm moving too fast. I'm trying to get this stuff going. You know, I forgot I was stuffing these burgers. And I didn't put the stuffing on. See, this is what I'm talking about, real food. These things happen. All right, so I got some smoked Gouda. 
Now, naturally, they always tell you, you know, you ain't supposed to do a whole lot of cheese and all that stuff for your diet. So what I'm going to do is cut these in half, break them in half. Not cut, because you didn't see me use a knife. Cut them in half. That's a piece of one. Because I sure forgot. And then I got to start cleaning up, and I'm like, oh, my. So. All right. So we put those on there. And you can build them inside of your burger. But since um I was slow and forgot, I'm going to put mine on top. Okay, you know how hard it is sometimes to get these things zipped? You know what I do? I just zip, undo it, and then I'll just put it back in a bag. And look at that. I cut below the zip. I still can't get in the freaking bag. Really? Come on, let me in. It should not have to be this hard. I got in, though. This is some... Mm, Herb turkey breast that I got out of Trader Joe's. I'm gonna put one fat ass slice on there. Yes, I am. Let's see each slice. Um, actually, two ounces makes a, a three. Two ounces makes um, fifty calories, and of course one. One slice is about an ounce. Uh-oh. Did you see that? I use it all. And I got one that's uncovered. So what am I going to do? Share. Share the love. I'm going to share it. See? I had to cut one in half. <laughs> so now they all got a little piece of something on them. All right, now they're going into the oven. Now I actually got 25 minutes left. And the oven is already hot now. Perfect, right? Be right back. Okay, so while we're waiting on our chicken hamburgers uh, to cook, I'm going to start the meal prep for the breakfast. I've already completed one, and then I thought, well, maybe I need to show y'all what I'm doing. So um, we're going to do the strawberries right now. The next one we're going to do is uh, the bananas. But you're gonna put less than a quarter, cause I'm using the half mason drawers. I figured the little version is better. If I feel I need a second one, then I can get it, and it's the same as eating those drawers that everybody else does. Um, you want to pour equal amounts of milk in there. I just pour just enough to get it covered. Now I am using. Shakeology, the strawberry flavor, because I'm using strawberries on this. So instead of using chia seeds, this is what I'm using, protein powder. Okay, and I kind of try to keep my spoon separate. That's the powder spoon. And then I'm going to use some plain Greek yogurt. Don't eat it by itself, it's nasty. I can't stand it nasty. Yeah, yeah by itself is terrible. And you just put just enough in there. Now the catch is, because we got protein powder in there, you definitely want to take another spoon and stir it up. Because if you don't, you'll eat into some protein powder. And yeah, protein powder by itself, no. It needs to be mixed in. Yeah, it's going to be a little soft consistency, but that's okay. If you want it thicker, yeah, you can add some more oats. But the refrigerator is going to do the rest. Then last but not least, give me just a second. We're gonna add strawberries. I've already been soaking my strawberries in the uh, agave. You can do, you can put sugar on the top if you want, but instead of using the sugar, I use the agave that I get out of Costco. And just to let you know, I get my uh, Quaker Oats out of Costco. It's cheaper that way. Except the problem is you get so much. You see this big old bag here? That's a lot. And there's two of them in there at that. So give one to a friend. <laughs> After you get it filled, you usually get about two scoops of strawberries. Then you'll just seal it. And then put it in the refrigerator. 
I keep these up to maybe a couple of days, not much more than that. Um, but they're good snacks anytime. And they give you that sweetness in case you're one of those people like me that think, oh, I gotta have something sweet after my meal. Well, why not use your little parfaits? Ta da! Now, I have some bananas. I need to cut them up next. Um, I'm not gonna do them separate. But you cut the bananas up, and then instead of putting protein powder in, I'm gonna use cookie butter that I get from Trader Joe's. Why not? Tastes good. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back after the chicken hamburgers get out of the oven. All right, so the chicken is done. Chicken hamburgers are done. And of course, while they were cooking, I started meal prepping. And they came out looking awesome. And give me just one second and let me show you. And so as you can see, they did create a lot of grease, which I'm not a fan of. So what I did was I started draining them on a paper plate. And then I have plated them up. This is my meal prep 101 episode 2. Trying to watch how I eat. So I'm trying to stick to these meal preps. If you have any questions or comments below, that'll be great. Please subscribe. If you think you see something that I could make that might be better, feel free to comment. I appreciate everything that you all do. And thank you.